guys so one of the things in aquaponics that you have to be very careful about is how you design your grow beds my grow beds are elevated all of them are elevated they're off the ground completely and that's for a reason i visited an aquaponics farm over here oh my goodness yeah so frogs are a very big problem i don't frogs li love water i don't like frogs yeah so one maybe like twice a month yeah three times a month we clean out frogs and then it really stinks but we were just cleaning out this one yesterday and that's how much frogs we just got from one lake they have big frogs too and then, and frogs do absolutely nothing for us they yeah. just they don't eat the fish they don't eat the fish okay they don't do anything they jump on the lettuce so i told myself i was going to design my grow beds to where they actually raised off the ground the frogs themselves they also like burying themselves on the grow beds so they like finding spots on the grow beds where they usually just lay there okay and i that didn't sit well with me i was not having any of that whatsoever on my grow beds so i decided to elevate them like this and the other reason asked why i did this was because children yeah god bless them those cute things usually like playing with the plants so if you leave your grow beds on the lower level they will come and mess with them so i ended up elevating them like this the biggest thing is just safety make sure that they're strong enough where they're not gonna fall over okay the third reason as to why i did this i wanted to limit as many electro equipment as i can and so i ended up setting up the grow bed farthest to me at a lower elevation and this grow bed right here at a high elevation that way when the drain pipe is set in place it's able to drain that water back in the fish tank effortless that's very important because i can have two of these grow beds at the same time draining into that fish tank and never have any backup or have any of these grow beds fill up because the pipe the drain pipe is just big enough to support the volume of water uh, from two grow beds at the same time okay so I, I didn't want to have another pump designed to send water back in the fish tank i wanted to just have one pump in the fish tank and one pump as an aerator and that's all i have right here 